Okay. Good afternoon, friends. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. 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 And we yes, need to complete uh, the non-finite forms of verbs, especially we discussed two infinitive forms. Uh, we need to discuss participles that are also present participle, past participle, and also we need to complete uh, the last form, last non-finite form, gerund. Okay, let us learn. Okay, okay? so non-finite okay, forms of verb, two infinitive is just over. Now participle, past participle. Also, I have told you, children, this pa yes. participles are known as the verbal adjective why it is called a verbal adjective because it is in the form of a verb see it is in the form a verb has four forms among the four form the fourth form of the verb is called present participle form of the verb right at the yes, same time yes, we can use this present participle form of the verb in the form of an adjective or it function it acts it, it also does the job of an adjective in a sentence i have told you the rising sun as I like to see the rising sun. The word no, rising no, no. is the present rising. participle. It is in the form, or, uh, the present participle form. But here in the sentence, it acts like a, an adjective. Okay? So okay, we can okay, call mom. a participle a verbal adjective. Why it is a verbal adjective? Because it is in the form of a verb and acts like an adjective in a sentence. Okay? So there are two different categories. Past participles and present participle. Children, not only an adjective, it can form a verb. Okay, it, it does, it can also a part of a tense form, right? She is sitting now. There, the present participle is sitting as used, right? So it is actually in the form of a, a verb. It is not used as an adjective in that sentence. This is what we discussed in the previous class, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So my dear little ones, now present participles and past participles are easy to identify because the past participle shows a completed action. Okay. And the present participle shows an ongoing action. Okay. And it is easy to recognize a past participle because it ends in T, D, E, N, N forms. Okay. T, D, N E in forms, okay, and at the same time, a present participle also ending in ing form, okay, okay, is that clear yes, for you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma ma we discussed yes, ma past and present participle in the previous class, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma and past yes, participles are very clear for you, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. Ma so let us learn the concept called gerund today. What is it? Gerund. 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 Pronunciation. How to use, how to pronounce the word? Gerund. 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 See, Gerund. I have told you kids, uh, we are using the past Gerund. participle. The other name for the past and present participles are verbal adjective. Okay? But here, we can give another name for the gerund. You know what is it? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no. Ah, see, a present participle and past participle, all participle in common, we are calling it as a verbal adjective. But here, we can use or we can call a gerund a verbal noun. Okay, what is it? Verbal, uh, noun. verbal noun. Because it is in the form of a verb. You know, this gerund also ending in ing. Okay, the words ending in ing exactly like the participle. Okay, present participle, it's ending in ing the same way uh, gerund is also ending in ing. Jumping, learning, reading, all these are ending in ing, right? The words ending with ing at the same time it functions or it does the job of a noun in a sentence. So it is all together, it is called a verbal noun. A gerund is also called a verbal now, no, no. as it is a noun, it can be a, it can be the subject in a sentence. It can be a, an object in a sentence. Okay, okay, guys. Instead of noun, okay. we are it's using fine. noun in a sentence. So we can use this gerund form. Okay, so let me explain this gerund once again. Gerund, the other name for the gerund is verbal noun. Let me share. So we are discussing the non-finite. Wait, minutes. Okay, non-finite 
ओके वी आर डिस्कसिंग द नॉन फाइनाइट फॉर्म दैट इज आल्सो द फॉर्म कॉल्ड जेरेंड ओके दैट इज आल्सो द फॉर्म कॉल्ड जेरेंड क्लियर यस गेट यस सर यस ओके इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड वर्बल नाउन okay because it is in the form of a verb like playing see p l a y i n g playing and act it acts like a noun in a sentence so that we are calling it as a verbal noun example verbal. reading okay exactly like the present participle but if it is fixed or if it is fitted in a sentence then only you can distinguish a verbal adjective and a verbal noun or this sentence or this word is used as a noun in that sentence or it is used in that uh, or it is used in the form of a noun in that sentence see playing reading all gerund see it is easy to recognize a gerund yes, because it is ending in ing if somebody ask you to use the gerund form easy if the bracketed word is read how to make it gerund form ma'am reading 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 if the bracketed word is laugh what is the gerund form laughing laughing if the bracketed word is right what is it gerund writing writing writing, yeah, writing. if the writing. bracketed word is jump what is it gerund form jumping oh you can add jumping. on ing and you can make it jumping okay Jump. so okay, ing okay. forms gerunds are ing forms and it is also called verbal nouns in english grammar why it is called a verbal noun Ma because it it is in the form of a verb yeah it is in the form of a verb and it acts like a noun in a sentence okay swimming is a good exercise children swimming is a good exercise there the word swimming is it used as a noun or is it used as an adjective now they don't tell again somebody said somebody said noun it is used as a noun in that see swimming see my sentence see look at children children look at the board my sentence my sentence is swimming okay swimming is a good exercise now okay swimming is a good exercise is it used as a present participle or is it used as a, a gerund form gerund gerund because you know participles are participles are we can write participles in two different ways right participles can be written two different ways it is with the form of a tense it can be is swimming okay is swimming or has been swimming okay has been swimming these are the two different present tense forms finite forms right and the same way we can use instead of is are we can use am we can use was we can use where okay to make it a verb tense form so it acts in that case the swimming acts like a participle present participle here right but children yes, remember remember here swimming comes just before the auxiliary verb okay it yes, does or it functions like a subject okay you know that a function a subject should be a noun or pronoun is it it yes ma'am yes, so here the word swimming it yes, acts like a subject so it is it functions like a noun so the word swimming even though it ends with ing it forms a, a, a so i can say that it forms a verb tense form but still we are using in the form of a noun so that we can call it as a verbal noun or it is in gerund form let me ask you a doubt am i clear is the concept yes, clear for you yes ma'am yes ma'am Yes. So yes ma'am. Let me show yes, once again. Let me show once again. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Children, look at here. I am swimming. Okay. I am swimming. Okay. Swimming pool. Okay. Swimming pool. Swimming. is a good exercise you have three sentences right 
Yes, yes you have yes. three different sentences. My first sentence, I am swimming. Here, the swimming is just used as a or after the auxiliary verb. So it forms a verb tense. Am plus present participle. It shows that this is a finite verb. It shows that it has a tense form in it, right? It is yes, in present participle. Yes. Is it used as a gerund or participle? Gerund. Okay, children, uh, mute according to the rule or by rule, uh, swimming here uh, comes after the auxiliary verb am. Okay, so subject plus am or is or are plus. Present participle form of the verb plus object forms a finite verb that is present continuous. So in the present continuous by rule we are not including gerund, right? What are yes, we including there? Participle. That also present participle. So in the first sentence the swimming is a present participle form of the verb because it comes soon after the auxiliary verb. Clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma and all of you, please look at the second, second exercise or second okay, example. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. Swimming, okay, ma swimming pool. So here the word is coming after or just before the noun pool. Swimming pool, rising sun. So, if it is just before a, a before a noun, is it adjective? adjective? Yes, yes. So it can act like an adjective. Here, the word swimming is uh, we can call it as an adjective. Swimming. Describing about the pool. Okay. So the, the is it a participle or is it a gerund? This verbal adjective. Gerund. Uh, 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 don't jump into a conclusion. It is it is in the form of an adjective. What is the other name for the participle? Verbal adjective. Verbal adjective. Verbal adjective. Verbal adjective. Verbal adjective. Yes, you are correct. Verbal adjective. So verbal adjectives, the other name for the verbal adjective is participle, right? So is it a participle or is it used as an adjourant over there? My participle. 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 It's not a gerund. It acts like an adjective. But we we uh, we have already uh, understood that gerunds are noun forms, right? Look yes, at yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, look at his walking. Just look how he walk. Ah, uh, I'm I'm not using is jumping, is walking, are walking, uh, have walked. No, I'm just using just walking. Walking, reading newspapers. Okay, reading newspapers. It, it does not show that he is doing an action. Then that, it shows that he is actually uh, reading. That, that there the reading is just used as a noun. So such a nouns are called gerund in English grammar. So it can be in the place of a subject. It can be in the place of a, an object also in a sentence. Most probably or normally, usually, this gerund is coming just before the oxygen verb in the yes. subject's place okay and coming after okay, the auxiliary verb in the place of an object this is how we are identifying a gerund in a sentence and my dear children listen there is a, there is something i should distinguish ah uh, you should know the difference between a participle and also the difference between a gerund and the participle okay so tell me okay, what is the major difference that you can find in participle and gerund See, there are some common features, right? Present participles and uh, the gerund. Both the words are ending in ing. So reading is the present participle form. Reading can be used in the form of a gerund. Ma'am, both are verbs. Both are, okay, both are forms of verbs. Because one is a finite, uh, both, both are non-finite forms of verb. They, they are derived, they are formed from the verbs. Okay, yes. that is a common point. Ma'am. Tell me uh, the difference now. Ma'am and uh, the participles are describing a word in the sentence. Uh, how? So noun is not describing a verb? 
Ma'am, uh, and uh, gerund is being nouns in the sentence. That is the most important point. Children, I have told you before the beginning of the session, this adjectives or the participles are partly a verb and partly an adjective in use. Okay? And we can, because why it is called partly a verb, we are using this present participle to form continuous tenses and also pre, uh, continuous, perfect continuous tense also, right? In the role, all the present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous future perfect continuous we are using this present participle form but what is the major difference okay okay that is okay and one is used as an adjective this is the major difference present participle is used as an adjective in a sentence at the same time we are using this gerund in the form of a noun that is the major difference between a present participle and also a gerund present participles are adjective forms okay and it can okay, also be used along with an auxiliary verb to construct a tense form at the same time this Gerunds are ending in ing form, but it acts like a noun in a sentence, so that it is called a verbal noun in a sentence. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, now yes. let us learn a few examples of gerund. All of you take uh, down. Just take down the questions. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Cooking is an art. Ma'am, you have to write in the lecture notes. Yes. Cooking is an art. Cooking is an art. Okay. Chitra. Chitra is... Good at painting. Chitra is good at painting. She loves singing. She loves singing. I don't like Waiting. I don't like waiting. Playing is good for health. Okay. Playing is good for health. Now, you have got five questions, right? Now, please try to underline the gerund form used here. Please underline the gerund form used in these five sentences. And also, Write whether it is used as the subject of the sentence or it is used as the object of the sentence. Gerund used as a subject. Gerund is used as an object. Shall I stop sharing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Okay. All of you note down the five questions and just underline, pick out, just underline the gerund forms. If you know how a gerund form ends, that is the only keyword for you to use it. And just see the uh, gerund is used in the place of subject. Gerund is used as an object. It is easy, guys. Ma'am, so we have to only find the gen, uh, I mean, uh, the gerund? Yes. Find out gerund and mention whether it is used in the place of subject or object. Underline and write subject, object. Amar, Amar. Hello, Amar. 
Fayaz Muhammad, I request you to turn on the video. Fayaz? Fayaz? Okay, let me start with Anlin. I have got your worksheet answers. I'll be sending the answer key. Uh, and uh, you just see, see, uh, you, I think you have got the worksheets, right? So I'll be sending the answer key of the yes, questions. Okay. Ma'am, uh, I have completed the worksheet, but I have a doubt in the third paragraph to find that nouns and adjectives. Okay. Okay. You can call me. Okay, ma'am. Now you do this work. If we have time now itself, we discuss about that. Otherwise, we'll chat personally. I'll be sending the answer key. Don't worry. I'll be sending answer key for those worksheets. Okay. Just pick out the gerund form. Okay. Let me start with Bala Shankar. Bala Shankar, read the first sentence. Cooking is an art. Okay. My first sentence. Cooking is an art. 